that's where I you know, kind of looked at the ride-on trailer and I said, I got a jet skis trailer and for okay. 20 bucks, I can make it do it. You like it? Yeah, it makes things really easy. Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get your boat to wherever you want to sail. And that means we're gonna be talking about trailers. This video is about trailers for all small sailboats. For instance, if you sail a Sunfish, a Laser, an RS Arrow, and even an Opti there might be something in this video for you. So before we get to the video, I'd like to thank all the subscribers who subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And without further ado, here's to the video. So the first video we see here is a multi-stack trailer. This trailer is gonna be used by professionals and by yacht clubs. Most people have a hard time getting their trailer on their boat alone. So this is a little segment on showing you one way on how to get your boat on your trailer. Now this is a JY15, but it can also be used with anything with the bow handle or use your imagination. You could do this with a laser, sunfish. So here I am, I'm loading the trailer, putting the JY15 next to the trailer. And I put the bow as much over the rear of the trailer as possible. The next thing I do is I take the winch and I unravel the strap and attach it to the bow. Then I start to reel it in. The, the dolly moves forward. So I just chalk up the dolly with a couple of logs that I found and I continue to winch it up. Now, if you had another person, they could help push it, but eventually it comes up and then you simply that's it. So this trailer was down at the RS Aero Regatta in Bay Waveland Yacht Club, Mississippi when they did the North American Championships. This guy came from California and he towed his boat with this beautiful trailer. One of the easiest ways to transport three boats, whether it be lasers or sunfish, is with an A-frame trailer. This could be used by groups or families and is made of metal or wood. This next trailer is one of the nicest trailers that is a custom-made, hand-built trailer. And this is Bill Brannier 40's trailer. Just check out the craftsmanship. Everything is perfect, the angles, the way everything's spaced out. He has little cabinets and drawers, it looks like. Two tubes for his spars and his sails. This thing is just perfect. Wait a minute, no, not that perfect. Yeah, look at the, yeah, this thing stinks. Look at those, those rotting handles. They're messing up the hole. Forget what I said about nice. He has vent holes, so this is it to transport farm animals or something. Next is a Yukon trailer. Perfect for transporting three sunfish. It's mounted by wood and brackets. And these guys traveled all the way from Connecticut and Massachusetts and they travel all over the place. The Yukon trailer is owned by US Sunfish Class President Will Kresick. This is a great trailer. It's a double decker trailer, but it also has tracks so you can push your boat up on its dolly and wedge it and it fits snugly right there. Emily Wagner is the owner of this trailer and she could load her sunfish with dolly by herself. That's a great advantage to having a trailer like this. You probably saw Emily on the US Sunfish class doing her live Facebook feeds and she does a great job with them. And when you have something this nice, look at that thing in back of it. That's Emily's glamping tent, complete with nautical flags, a ring toss game, and turn down service. From Emily's fancy trailer, we go now to the minimalist trailer. This trailer is owned by the Masters International Champion, Eugene Schmidt. This has a spar tube so small you can't even put your sail into it. This also has a rack. Even though it's minimalist, it has high strength through shackles to help tie down the boat. The frame is made specifically for a sunfish. As you can see these cutouts, those cutouts were made to fit the splash guard. The boat then could be securely tied down to the frame made by Eugene's father-in-law, Big Daddy. 
So many people don't use trailers and they use roof racks. In this video, we see some roof racks here, and this is Ellen Liam Forty's setup, where she has a nice webbing around the hull, and this prevents it from going forward. The loop around the hull doesn't put strain on the older bow handle. Now, this is my Regatta Mobile, and I use Thule roof racks on my factory roof racks. The most important thing that you could see here is that I have the bow tied down. The Slipknot Trucker's Hitch is going to be your best friend, whether you car top it or trailer it. Stay to the end of the video and you're gonna see one of my favorite trailers that I don't own, but I think many of you probably will be interested in it. If you like what you see so far, please smash that like button. Really appreciate it. Next we have Ron McHenry's Utility Trailer. This is a custom made trailer made from a utility trailer that has storage and what's really cool about this they have these welded eye loops to help tie down the boat and there's enough space underneath the racks to hold a full-size spare tire and don't forget Ron's really nice bike the next couple of trails we'll see are aluminum and they're made by Trailax aluminum is really light and it's pretty expensive compared to galvanized trailers, but you could use these single ones for dollies. They do come with pads underneath that are easily adjusted. You could slide the pads back and forth, so you could use this for almost any type of boat. Even though these can be used as dollies because they are so light, still I've never seen anyone use them to put a boat in the water, but maybe get close to the beach. If you notice on many of these trailers, they have beams that go across the boat. Those generally provide probably the better support systems to your boat versus the pads that you see on these aluminum trailers. A lot of people don't like the pads because they're more focused on four areas versus the wider racks. However, you can remove the smaller pads and change them to a larger pad and you can make these pads relatively easily. As you can see, you could travel with these boats upside down or right side up. Next we have Vito's platform trailer. Vito has been retired for a pretty long time. He still sails competitively and he likes his trailer because he can get the boat in and out and he can sail whenever he wants, whether it be 10 o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the afternoon. He doesn't have to have anyone help him get the boat off. The platform's made out of wood, it's painted with non-skid material and the ramps just tie down onto the deck after he's done pulling the boat onto the trailer. Next we have Scott Elliott from Gaston Lake Sailing. He's going to talk about his version of the right on trailer. I'm able to take the dolly and rest it right up there on that bumper. Okay. And I can just pick it, I have it tied oh, to the Oh, so dolly, these V's hold the wheels. And that holds the wheels of my dolly. What do you mean you pick it up? I just, when well, it's tied to the dolly right here, I put the bow up there and I'm able to put the one tire in and I'm able to and just walk the boat and set it like that. So you put the the hand. The oh, you put the, the handle goes you put, right up against the, you put the dolly here, and then you lift up the whole thing. Well, I just lift up the back because the bow. Right. So yeah, I just kind of takes takes two minutes. Not even that. Gotcha. Maybe to get it on there. So it's a little unstable in the beginning. Right when I'm first you, putting it, taking it on and off, it's a little. I've harder. never seen this rig before. I wish I could. Yeah, you know, I want to do a thing where you can roll Slide it on it, it yeah. like a ride-on trailer. That's where I you know, kind of looked at the right on trailer and I said, I got a jet skis trailer and for okay. 20 bucks, I can make it do it. On there, I pick up one tire and set in there. Put on, I usually do it without all the mast and covers on it because it's lighter. Uh, and with two people, it only takes 10 seconds. Thanks a lot to Scott Elliott and his involvement with the Gaston Lake Sailing School. He does a lot of stuff for the Sunfish class. We all appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Scott Elliott, for all that great information. If you like what you're seeing, please smash that like button. Some trailers have motorboats like this coach boat with brackets to haul two lasers or two sunfish. So I have a friend, Kenny, who wanted to sail around Shelter Island. So I hooked him up with an old boat. I said, I think you should paint it so you could stand out. So we painted yellow and red flames on it and now the red rocket was born. Blast off! Go Red Rocket! 
His transport vehicle is a short bed pickup truck, so he got an extension for his hitch, and that gives him a couple more feet so he can put the sailboat in there and just tie it in there snugly. Like the Glam trailer, the Dynamic and SciTech has a double boat setup for all small boats. These rigs usually are very well made and this one came from Miami and I borrowed this one to go to St. Petersburg Yacht Club for the Sunfish Worlds. The trailers are solidly made and we had no issues going back and forth from New York to Florida and back. So many people have an issue getting their boat to and from the water, especially alone. The right on company makes the right on trailer, which might be your perfect solution. I have Paul Zinger here demonstrating how to load with the right on trailer. And here we have Chris Williams, the 2021 winner of the world's longest sunfish race around Shelter Island, unloading his right on trailer. Nice. You like it? Yeah, it makes things really easy. Very good. That's it. Nice shot, Paul. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Smash the like button. Subscribe. <laughs> So which trailers did you find most interesting? Are you gonna to try to do any yourself? Please leave a comment down below. I read all of them. I'm interested to know what you're interested in. So there you have it. That's the trailer video for all small sailboat sailors. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you know when we come out with new videos. And I'll see you on the water.